Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you my Dyson Airwrap and I'm going to share my views and a mini review on that and also the demo. Currently my hair is wet because I have not styled it yet. So let me just introduce what it basically is. So as most of you would know, Dyson mostly makes uh, vacuum cleaners, hand dryers, like they're basically famous for that. And they also have the supersonic hair dryer, which is like the best blow dryer. Like it's, it's really famous but very expensive I mean you can call Dyson the apple of hair dryers so it's really expensive because of the technology they use and also that brand name but they make the best quality products so I was gonna do like a first impression kind of video in which I use it for the first time in front of the camera and before buying this hair app I watched like a million videos on YouTube about this and most of them did not know what they are doing because most of them were first impressions and uh, I thought YouTube already has a lot of them which are not really useful they were very few videos in which the people actually knew what they are talking about and actually knew how to use the product so I did not want to be one of those who don't know this product at all so I used it a few times I have not become an expert yet in using this uh, because I have used it like six to seven times I got little bit used to it not much so this is what it comes in it says Dyson Airwrap smooth plus control so I got smooth plus control variant so it costs 37,000 the complete set costs 40 21,000 rupees this one cost 37,000 so let me just share uh, why I bought it and uh, let me just introduce like what it actually does I'll put the timestamps for everything so if you want to jump to any particular part you can just uh, go to that timestamp okay so let me just share a backstory so when this Dyson Air app launched I think more than a year back in 2018 I guess uh, I got obsessed with the Dyson Air app videos like everybody like all the youtubers were talking about it and they were posting videos about it and I was really uh, you know excited I'm like this looks really exciting but I never thought of buying it because it was that expensive I'm like okay fine like maybe when I become rich I'll buy it and then I did not think about it much and then days passed and a few days ago I again got obsessed with this I watched so many videos on Airwrap and I was like if I really want it that bad, I should just buy it without thinking much. And I felt I deserve it. I work really hard and I do deserve what I really want. So without giving a second thought, I bought it. So it's basically like a hair styler come hair dryer. So it dries and styles your hair at the same time. It's really useful for people who, you know, they spend hours styling their hair. Each time they wash it, they first dry it and then they straighten it and they curl it. And it takes a lot of time and it damages your hair because of using so much much heat so it's really perfect for those people and it's an investment actually I mean some people like to invest in um, expensive phones a TV or uh, some people like to spend more money on food so it's really subjective like depends on your priority like what you want to spend your money on but uh, those of you who can actually spend that kind of money or don't mind to spend that kind of money and they really want to uh, take care of their hair health in general and they want to just simplify their life I think it's really perfect for them for me I don't know if it's gonna be so worth it because I used to blow dry my hair like once in a month or something before that I should do it once a week but now I've reduced it but I think I'm gonna do it more often since I've bought it okay so it has something called as the Coanda effect it's their patent technology no other product has this it's basically an aerodynamic phenomenon which curves air to attract and wrap hair to the barrel and also has heat control which measures temperature over 40 times per second and it keeps it under 150 degrees Celsius so according to them uh, hair actually gets damaged when the heat crosses 150 degrees Celsius and below that if you style your hair it's not gonna cause heat damage and once your hair gets heat damaged like once it becomes jadu there's no coming back from that so now I'll just show what the set looks like it comes in this leather box right here it's really nice like it has this magnetic uh, thing and when you open it it has this mat on which you can keep your hot tools and this is just how you're supposed to use it just a demo and this is how it looks like actually this one did not come with it I got it for free uh, it comes with this pre styler actually but I have kept this inside because I don't use this I use this more often that's why I put it here so let me just explain the three types it comes with 
first is the complete set in which you get everything you get this pre styler which is just a, your regular blow dryer you get this round brush attachment you get this firm smoothing brush attachment which straightens your hair like a blow dry finish and you get a soft smoothing brush which i don't have it gives you a blow dry kind of straight look then you get 40 mm barrels and 30 mm barrels so the smooth and control kit does not have this round brush and the soft smoothing brush and there's one more volume and shape variant in which you don't get the 40 mm barrels and the firm smoothing brush you get the soft smoothing brush and 30 mm barrels and this is your main thing in which you attach all the barrels and style it the air comes out from here actually and you have all these settings here so i researched a lot i watched a lot of videos and i came to know that the firm smoothing brush and the soft smoothing brush are exactly like basically the same the only difference is that this is uh, more firm and this is meant for textured thick and curly hair and the other one is meant for thin hair who basically want volume so i thought if i use that brush on my hair i'm it's just going to look poofy and i didn't think i really need that so this is what i needed and there was an offer going on on dyson so if you buy this air wrap you get one attachment free which is worth 3000 if you buy it separately so i chose this one so basically i have everything like all the attachments except for the soft smoothing brush which i anyway don't need if i hadn't researched it i was actually planning to buy the whole set because i wanted to try everything but uh, i got almost everything in um, less money so the smooth and control kit is meant for frizzy curly hair and the volume shape kit is meant for thin hair who actually are looking for volume more than smoothening okay so that's it for the introduction let's start with the demo now so first let me show this attachment so you would think the air comes out from here right but no it comes out from here so let me just show you the sound it makes like it's not very loud and it's pretty powerful i mean the supersonic hair dryer is much more powerful than this uh, but even this is like pretty powerful so you're supposed to pre-dry your hair with this and uh, take your hair from wet to damp because all these attachments work the best when your hair is damp so you're just supposed to make your hair damp with this i'm not gonna use it today because i like to use this attachment for pre-drying my hair because my roots get really frizzy because my hair is curly so i like to smoothen it first with this so this is the firm smoothing attachment it's supposed to straighten your hair um not give it like a flat iron straight look but a blow dry straight look look and i was the most excited about this attachment like most people who buy this air app are actually interested about the barrels but i was the most interested about this and i've kept the power to the highest and also the heat to the highest and it also has this cold shot button so you can set your style but i'm just gonna put the heat to the lowest and uh, set my hair because otherwise my hair gets really frizzy okay so this is what it did to my hair like it did not make it very smooth but uh, this is fine and it also gave like a nice shine and uh, by the way i have shampooed my hair and put conditioner and also a little bit of leave-in conditioner otherwise my hair gets frizzy and uh, i also put some heat protectant now let me show you the next attachment which is this round brush i like this the most because this is the easiest to use for me because i'm used to blow drying my hair with a round brush and a hair dryer so this was exactly like that except i don't have to hold a hair dryer so this is like two in one i don't have to do both the things so it, it was really easy to use for me but it made my hair poofy and not like exactly smooth so this is how it looks like after some time it just turns so poofy if i don't take my time and use the heat for longer if i use very little heat my hair just gets you know frizzy soon and it's mostly the humidity which does this to my hair now let me show you the round barrels i know most of you are interested in that so i take very small sections because if i take bigger sections it just um, gets little frizzy it doesn't smooth it out completely so i'm just gonna take this small section and you get barrels in both directions so if you want your curls to go in this direction you would use this otherwise you would use this so mostly people like to uh, go their curls towards the outer direction they use this one on this side and this one on this side uh, you can even mix it up depending on what you want but i want my curls to go outwards for more volume to show you guys that's why i am going to be using this this is a 30 millimeter barrel which gives tighter curls so i just hold my hair over here like about a few centimeters and it's gonna automatically wrap my hair around this i like to keep moving this to smoothen my hair near the roots otherwise it gets frizzy 
cannot do it for about 15 seconds they say that you can do it for 6 to 10 seconds but if you have frizzy and curly hair you have to do it longer otherwise your hair will get frizzy so i tried it and my hair got frizzy like within 10 minutes so i take my time and then i will just switch the button up for cold shock and then let it cool down then put it off and there you have your curl so when you do this all over your hair and in the end you just roughly brush it out you get like a blow dry effect now let me show you the 40 millimeter barrel and when this air comes near your ear and your, you know your skin area it gets really hot because this heat is less for your hair but for your skin it's still a lot like 150 degrees a lot for your skin Ta -da! so let me just do my whole hair so basically what i'm gonna do is i'll just smoothen out my roots first and my ends i'm gonna curl with the curling iron the, the 40 millimeter barrel for like a wavy look i don't want like too curly because i already have curly hair and i'm gonna actually part my hair in middle and use this barrel on this side and this one on this side i'm just tying whatever hair is done at the back so that it doesn't come in the way and frizzes up since i use this smoothing brush over here and it's been a uh, long so my ends are also drying so i'll just spread some water to the ends just little not much so that it's damp if you want me to do a full tutorial on how i use one single attachment on my whole hair or even a mixture of attachment and create different hairstyles please let me know in the comments down below i would love to make that does not stay the same like within a few minutes this is going to turn a little frizzy just like a normal salon blowout like whenever i get blow dries in salon they just get frizzy so soon but when i blow dry at home i use a lot of heat so it does not frizz up really soon so this is how it looks like after it's done i'm just going to take a little serum and just brush it out roughly And what I was left, I just put it over here like to smoothen out my roots. Looks so good, right? Like every time I do my hair, they like it looks different each time. I keep trying different techniques with this. And it took me one hour, okay? Like because I was filming and that electricity issue came, like a lot of things happened. But usually it takes me 30 to 40 minutes max. It did not take me like one hour. So I hope you liked this look. My requirement was to actually style my hair after washing and then it should stay like that for one week. But this does not give that. It's This stays for like maybe one day or half day depending on where you stay because the humidity also plays a part. So the pros of this are it's not using as much heat. So when I use other heating tools, you know you get that burnt smell and even that uh, steam which comes out that's because of products actually but that does not happen with this and my hair does not smell burnt and it gives a lot of volume so for those of you who have thin hair i mean i'm not uh, promoting this product like i'm not telling you to buy it in any way but in case you want to buy it or you already have it like those with thin hair uh, will love this product because it the volume it gives is amazing and uh, this is faster to do like my regular blow dryers take a um, lot more time but this is like really fun to do actually in the start it takes time but once you get the hang of it it's really quick and fast and easy and let's talk about the cons now my biggest complaint with this like my biggest complaint like i'm it did not come with a diffuser the way it's marketed is as if like this is the only styler you will need for the rest of your life like this is all you will ever need but it does not come with a diffuser i mean what am i supposed to do like if i want to wear my hair curly i still have to use my other hair dryer which has a diffuser attachment i cannot use it with this so that's my biggest complaint i mean if you're paying so much it should come with a diffuser man and the second complaint is that uh, i really wanted its performance to be same like the supersonic hair dryer because the supersonic hair dryer is like like very powerful that's what i've heard i mean i understand that they don't want to stop the sale of the supersonic hair dryer because if this performs like that people would mostly buy this only right like you get everything instead of just one hair dryer the cost is more but still like the sale will drop i feel so i understand that but still if you're paying so much i really wanted that supersonic performance and even that blow dry attachment so you can blow dry traditionally but actually i can 
can work with that but I so badly want a diffuser attachment I really hope uh, Dyson comes with it and I'm gonna buy it for sure I even asked the stylist I mean I had a video call with the Dyson stylist it's free you can register it online on their site so uh, I registered it I had a video call with her and I asked why doesn't it come with a diffuser and she said no but that comes with supersonic hair dryer this is air wrap and so i did not get a proper answer i mean there's no harm in um, including a diffuser right and another con is that i mean it's mostly because of the humidity i feel and if your hair is curly like mine and if you use this uh, your hair will start to get frizz up like it will not look the same throughout the day your hair will get poofy and frizzy at least mine does uh, and i'm hoping it's because of the humidity and not because my hair doesn't work with this like i'm really hoping because i've watched a lot of youtubers like curly youtubers and uh, it worked amazing for them so i'm really hoping it's the humidity and i hope it works better in winter time and i feel um if you have like already straight hair or like smooth hair in general not frizzy hair this would work amazing for you you will get nice voluminous like bouncy curls and uh, they do drop but still you'll get nice waves instead of making your hair frizzy like what happens with my hair type is um, these curls they convert into my natural curls which look frizzy so this part like especially the root area looks really frizzy so i cannot really uh, stay like that for for the whole week because i wash my hair once a week so that's my biggest problem actually with this so like it did not give me like the expected blowout look i expected i mean it did give me but it's for a few minutes it, my hair gets frizzy really soon but i don't want to return this product they do have a 30 day return policy no questions asked apparently but i don't want to return it I, if i return it i'm gonna regret it i just want to give it more chances and experiment with different techniques and uh, i I think if I style it for longer like if the heat touches it for longer it's gonna stay for longer I even want to use products and exp basically experiment because it's working so well for so many people so I really want to give it more chances so yeah that's it for this video let me know in the comments down below how you liked my hair blow dried hairstyle I mean the volume it gives is amazing and it's like so bouncy and uh, yeah my biggest problem is frizz actually and the fact that it did not come with a diffuser but it's okay what can we do now and also let me know in the comments down below if 40,000 is worth it and if it's something you would consider buying or uh, you don't want to buy at all like just let me know your thoughts about this product i really want to know what you think and i hope you enjoyed this thank you so much for watching uh, if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel i upload new videos every saturday and i'll see you in my next video bye